howdy everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel today I'm going to be making some baby Star Wars nursery wall art so let me show you what the simple supplies are going to be so we can get started on this craft all right everyone I'm going to start by using some existing uh, wall art that can be recycled and reused you can use uh, any frame that you may already have that has some sort of a back on it you can use a canvas board or even just a stretch canvas and you can also use the Dollar Tree frames these I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby they were a little bit torn up in the back so I'm just going to take all of this backing paper off all right, so I also want to paint the frames on here, and I've got three of them because I have three little artwork that I want to do. You can just do one or two or as many as you wish. So I've got some black acrylic paint here that I'm going to use for the frame. And to cover the back, you can use scrapbooking paper, you can use wrapping paper, maybe even a gift bag that has a design that you like. I'm going to use this fabric. It is just a cotton fabric that I chose that I'm going to be using in some of uh, the quilt and other things that I'm going to be putting in the bedroom for the baby. So I'm going to go ahead and use a four or three little squares that I'm going to cut out the size of this and glue that right in there as my background. Uh, for my foreground of my art, I needed to find some Star Wars baby designs because my son and daughter-in-law have chosen that for the nursery for their baby boy that's coming in late May. Anyway, so I found these uh, prints that I went ahead and had my husband uh, print out for me. And this is a R2-D2 and diapers, as you can see, is really cute. Here is a Darth Vader also in diapers. This is a really cute little theme. And then I've got a Stormtrooper. We found some other ones, but I'm going to, probably going to use them for another uh, design. But for now, these are the three that I'm going to use on my my boards here, my art, my art, my wall art. Okay, I'm also going to be needing some Mod Podge, or you can use like an Aliens Tacky Glue, or even an Elmer's White Glue. You might want to water it down just a little bit. This will be for gluing and for sealing. So I'm going to need some brushes as well, not just for my paint, but to brush on my Mod Podge. And then I'm going to need some scissors because I am going to be cutting out these designs from the white and I've got my smaller one so I can cut out inside so you're going to need some nice precision scissors or you can use an exacto knife if you have a surface to cut on. All right these are my supplies so let's get to crafting. All right so the first thing we want to do is we want to measure the inside of this wall art so I'm just going to take a measuring stick here or you can use a measuring tape and this is about seven and five eighths and seven and five eighths. Okay, so I can use the same measuring tape to measure out my fabric or I can use a um, cutting board such as this with my rotary cutter to cut it out. Of course, if I'm just gonna measure and I don't have the cutting board or the cut rotary cutter, I can use my scissors to cut that out. Now, I'm going to start from these ends and measure up to seven and five eighths. I'm actually going to go just a little bit bigger. I'm going to go seven and three quarters. And then I can just trim down. It's safer that way to be a little bit big and then just trim down. Okay. Get that little bit off. So I already know this is seven and three quarters. So now I want this one to be seven and three quarters as well. probably thinking why didn't you just measure it seven three quarters to begin with I would have but my fabric was so big it was falling all over the place so this is seven and three quarters and so I want a square from this so I'm just gonna put it on top and cut my piece make sure it's all on the table here do a little comparison with one of these little guys see this is going to 
going to go in here. So I do need to trim that little bitty bit. Okay, let's do that. You could also probably just go ahead and iron these. Make sure you have a nice flat piece of fabric, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so five eighths is this half, so it's just one little guy right here. Okay, remove it off of that. Now turn it around. And we do this other end. Make sure all the edges are lined up. there. Let's see. Yeah, this one right here. And that one right there. Okay. Now this should fit inside of there now. All right, this is perfect. Okay, so before I put them on, I'm going to go ahead and paint all of the a uh, framed part, the outer edges, and this right here, and right on the inside, and just a tiny bit into the frame. I'm not going to paint all of this. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to paint just a tiny bit so that if when I put my little pieces of fabric in there, if I'm, you know, they're just a tiny bit small, it won't matter because you'll see a little bit of the black. So I don't want to put uh, too much black uh, on here, but you could, especially if you have some art on here that you need to cover and it's coming through here. So uh, I'm probably going to touch this up with a little bit of white. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to paint those and you've probably seen how to paint so you don't need to see that. I'm just going to put some paper down, protect my surface. So I'll paint these and then I'll be back uh, once they're dry so we can do the next step. All right, so my frames are dry, but I went ahead and I gave them just a little bit more of a coating, especially on the uh, white part here because I wanted to make sure the letters were covered well because they did show through the fabric just a little bit. And once I put some Mod Podge on here to glue it down onto the, I feel like I would see the letters even more. So I went ahead and give them, a, actually I gave that about three coats. So I'm letting them dry again. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start just cutting these out. So I'm just gonna go right on the outer, black line of these uh, prints. I'm just going to be cutting right on that little edge all the way around and I do have my smaller scissors so if I get into like little little spaces like this and when I want to get into this one I can also use those uh, but I also do have my mat still on my table and I can take an X-Acto knife and do the same thing and use that to cut right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with these by cutting all these three figures and then we will be back. Alright, so the next step is to put this fabric on our dried panels here. Uh, but you want to look at the print and you want to decide which way you want your print to be. Uh, this is the top of my frame where it's got the little metal here, the little hanger here. So this is up at the top and I want my gray to go up and down like that, which really doesn't really matter which way it goes. So I just want to put it right in there and that fits just fine. So then I'll just fold it over and I got my Mod Podge here and I've added a little bit of water just to spread it out a little bit more and so it doesn't get like too thick underneath and then maybe cause uh, some you know little lumps here and there. I want it to be nice and smooth as smooth as I can get it. Okay so I've put it on every bit. Make sure you go all the way to the edges. This is going to dry clear so don't worry about that um, getting on other parts of the frame. Okay we've got that and now we're going to do the top to make sure that any air bubbles are pushed out of the way. Okay, and then we're going to fold it over and do the other half, making sure I get plenty of this on the edges and in the middle because I don't want it poofing upward. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to push it down and make sure. Like I said, don't worry about that because that's just going to dry clear. Okay, so now I just want to make sure that I get a good coat on the whole thing. And then we're going to let this dry really, really well. You could go ahead and put the little paper cutouts or maybe you found some little little characters on some fabric you want to cut out and put that on. And I mean, I could go ahead and do it right now while it's still wet. But the reason that I'm not doing it is that I want to make sure that I want to put the, be, be able to put the little character on here and be able to move him around and decide where I want the little character before I glue it down. Because if I try to do it right now while it's wet, it might stick. And if I try lifting it, I don't want to tear it. You know, <laughs> I just had my husband print me one of each. So I don't, want, I don't want to take a chance and tear any of them. By the way, these are already cut out, as you can see. I've got the R2-D2 right here. See, I cut off where... There was some white right between there. The same, you know, here and so forth. So I did all of that. Okay, I'm gonna put these to the side. I'm gonna let these dry. I've got the other two done as well. And uh, they go like that. Where's the top right here? See, they're all done. Okay, so I'm gonna let these all dry and we'll be back to put our little characters on here. All right, everyone, so the uh, fabric part has dried, and now I can go ahead and add my little characters to the fabric part. So what I want to do is I want to make sure first that this is the top. Yes, the little hook is in the back right here. Let's turn this over. There it is right there. And I'm putting this as if you were doing the project, so it's facing you rather than myself. And I want this little storm trooper right about there. So what I want to do is I'm going to take uh, some of this Mod Podge and what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it behind him all over. Make sure you get it in the center really, really well and the edges, we can make sure we have that once we have it turned around. If you didn't get them, that's okay. But you want to work as quickly as you can because it starts drying up. Let me turn my little fan in another direction. Okay, so I want to make sure I get plenty of glue right there. Okay, so now I'm not going to worry about the other edges. I just want to center him right about where I want him. And then I want to make sure that the middle, <coughs> excuse me, that there are no bubbles. And the reason I was saying is not worry about the edges is because you can always come through with your brush, like so, and then brush down the edges. Okay, that's what I'm going to do on this side as well. See, what starts happening is it starts curling up on you. Also, if you put too much glue, so you want to make sure you at least get in the middle and get it down. Okay, so now I'm just sealing it in place. There we go. So that it blends in with all the fabric. And remember this Mod Podge does dry clear. I've already got this little art to D2 done, as you can see right there. And now my little baby stormtrooper. And I want to do baby Darth. Just making sure that this is the top of my frame. And my baby Darth will go right there. So I'm just going to put glue down the middle. Okay, and now. I can sort of center right about there and then Mod Podge the edges. Okay, and then I can do the other side over here carefully because I don't want it to tear on me.
There we go. All right. So I'm just going to finish sealing this one. And then I'm going to let them dry. And we'll be back to watch or to just to look at a finished product. All right, everyone, my project is complete. I've done my three little framed wall art. These are baby Star Wars nursery wall art. There's my Darth Vader. I think he looks super cute. And the other two, of course, look super cute as well. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope you two will give me a big old thumbs up. Leave a nice comment down below. Let me know what you think. Are you going to do something similar? Maybe a different character? Anyway, give me suggestions for videos after I'm done with all of my nursery uh, projects. I am also going to be doing a little bit of for the uh, shower, the things that I'm going to be for doing for that. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that little notification bell that tells you I load up every Tuesday and every Friday. And thank you all very much to all of you who have been subscribing. I am very, very grateful to you. Uh, that's it. Make sure you share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy.